simply open a directory in VS Code uh, and uh, you can uh, start by building, uh, by initializing an application, for example. Uh, you can enter the command palette and see the craft commands here. Let's say we want to initialize a project and uh, we can choose an application. Uh, we can either initialize one from an exi existing template or we can just uh, create a blank one with only uh, craft.yaml and uh, the ones uh, uh, are the ones from uh, uh, that are listed uh, uh, when you perform across the craft list uh, minus a. Okay, so let's say we want to initialize HTTP reply. Uh, you can see the output right here. It's in uh, in a log for craft. Okay, so uh, I uh, had some trouble with this version, which uh, I posted on GitHub. So right now, after the application was initialized, I have to refresh uh, this view to show the existing uh, libraries in the project. So uh, right here, we can see that the application was fetched and also uh, that Unicraft directory was created, uh, which uh, contains uh, the code for libs. Uh, and Unicraft and everything you need. And um, as I mentioned before, it contains the code for the libraries and uh, for the core. Uh, you can see them uh, in this view. And you can see also details about it, for example, the distributions, uh, the link to the GitHub and uh, so on. Uh, the, no, this view is just uh, basically the file explorer. Uh, this is the Unicron. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, uh, and uh, right now, uh, since we've initialized the project, we can also configure it, uh, either interactively or from craft.yaml. Uh, we can initialize it from craft.yaml, and oh, I think that I had some problems with uh, craft. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I did with Craft, but every time I um, every time I fetch an application, it uh, it uh, downloads the older syntax. Let me just update it. Uh, I have this problem also locally. Okay. Okay, and okay. And now if I configure it again, uh, I can choose the target. And we can see that the .config file was generated. And uh, we can also see the NCURSES menu with interactive. And it works just like uh, from the console. Okay. Oh. Um, Okay, um, Okay, and uh, then we can also build the project. We can see the output right here. Yep. Oh, uh, is the uh, control shift P or command shift P, the control palette from VS Code. Okay, and it's building and it takes a bit longer for HTTP reply. Okay, uh, it's built, and now we can also run it. And uh, for now, uh, when you run uh, when you run it, there are no other parameters, so uh, uh, that's why. Yeah, it, it it just listens to the port, but it's not. Um, uh, there is no uh, bridge created, no interface. It simply runs the application without uh, the other required things. Okay, and you can just close it then. Uh, for now, uh, you can't do this. That's... Uh... 
for now, uh, for now, no. Uh, that's what uh, I have to push uh, this week. I added only for uh, selecting the architecture, just like I did for uh, the config. But other parameters, no. Uh, right. Uh, for now, you have to uh, add them manually. Uh, in the future, uh, well, let me just uh, show you. Uh, you can also add a library from here, right now. Yeah. Uh, and let's say we want boost, we can choose the library version. Let's say stable. And okay. And we have boost right here, and it also gets added in the craft.yaml file. Uh, from the craft.yaml file, no, you have to remove it right now from here. Yeah, you can either remove it, uh, which simply removes it from the uh, craft.yaml file, or you can purge it, with al which also uh, deletes it from the disk. And right now, if we look in libs, it's again only LWIP. Uh, well, uh, yeah, it's the terminal from VS Code. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, um, what I have to push right uh, right now would be uh, the um, uh, target selection for uh, craft run, and also uh, some updates regarding the uh, updating of the package explorer uh, of the I'm sorry uh, of the uh, ex uh, external libraries view. Because as I showed you before, when I fetched the library, uh, it um, did not update correctly the, the present libraries. Um, I am also looking into um, auto-completion and, um, um, and uh, auto-completion. Uh, for symbols, but uh, I, I have to make it uh, generic, so uh, I can also mm, uh, I have to make it generic, so uh, it can also work for Python, C, and every language in which we can build applications. Um, I was looking into the language server of, of um, extension for VS Code. But uh, it seemed a bit like uh, reinventing the wheel. I tried doing this for uh, C++. So um, what I'm trying to do is to see how I can use existing language servers uh, and uh, just basically create a client which interacts with all of them. But uh, I'm having some problems doing that because I'm, I'm not sure exactly how it's done. I'm still looking into it. Um, and uh, also, I would have to add uh, more parameters to craft run, besides the one that uh, is uh, ready for now. Um, and um, also, I would like to um, I would like to uh, allow uh, users to uh, 
um, have autocomplete when uh, trying to add um, uh, configuration options in the craft.yaml file. Um, um, for example, uh, if I want to uh, LWIP to uh, um, allow TCP or um, disallow it, simply, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, and uh, what I uh, what I also forgot to mention is that um, in that VS Code in settings you can um, set your GitHub token right here, and uh, you can work there. Uh, that's another thing that I would like to do uh, when initializing an application. I would like to. Uh, allow uh, the user to uh, insert a random UK work there and not hard code it and simply place it in dot uh, Unicraft. Uh, if you if you work with an existing application, you can simply set the UK work there right here, and it can be anywhere. But when you initialize it, uh, it initializes it to dot Unicraft inside the. Uh, current folder. Um, let me. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just open. Oh. Let me just clean up everything. Okay. Okay. So when building an application, you have to uh, set other. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't started the extension yet. Okay. Uh, by default, uh, the initial UK work there is uh, the one from the home. So right now I can see with green the libraries which I have right there. Okay, so uh, when you initialize li initialize library, uh, let me just uh, get a link to a GitHub. Okay, so when you uh, initialize initialize a library, you have to insert the name. Uh, okay, uh, the origin, that's the GitHub right now, the version, and uh, the author name, the email, and right now uh, the dot Uncraft live is populated. Uh, we can see in libs the library, and uh, it also initializes the current directory with a blank ap application, with a crop.yaml that uses the library that I've just uh, created and the makefile.uk. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. 